It's cutting edge technology that's supposed to make us safer, but is it Big Brother gone too far? News 8's Richard Allen gives us a look at how local law enforcement agencies are using facial recognition technology right now, and he explains why some people want to shut it down. <laughs> It's like 1984. You don't want to be watched everywhere you go. The once futuristic technology of facial recognition is quickly becoming a part of everyday life, from accessing your cell phone to boarding your flight. An evolving technology enraging these demonstrators as they protested the impending arrival of 5G cell towers. So it's kind of becoming a big brother kind of thing. In the wrong hands, it can be misused. Here in San Diego County, facial recognition has been a cutting edge tool used by law enforcement since 2013. Technology like this um, being held in your hand, it, it's only the options are endless. And Chula Vista Police has been a leader. Each one of its sworn officers are issued mobile devices equipped with facial recognition software more than any other law enforcement agency in the county. With this, we can identify somebody in the field and if they don't need to come to the station to be identified, we can just identify them in the field and then release them from there. Here's how it works. Using the app on the smartphone or tablet, an officer takes a picture of the subject like this. That encrypted image is then transmitted to a centralized network called Argus, where it's compared against the San Diego Sheriff's Department's database of 1.4 million mugshots. In a matter of seconds, a series of potential matches are then sent back to the officer's mobile device. Agent Natalie Caceres with Chula Vista Police says its officers use the technology on a daily basis. Sometimes where the probability could be up to 99.8%, that is, it is that person, sometimes it's lower. Police say facial recognition serves as a powerful tool that saves time and promotes safety, one that's used under strict policy guidelines, helping identify people involved in an investigation or who've been detained, who are unable or unwilling to provide proof of their identity. It's meant to be less intrusive to the public. But critics counter San Diego's face recognition program, which is overseen by Sandag, is far too intrusive. But I think face recognition at this point is too dangerous to be used. Dave Moss is a senior and investigative and researcher with the Electronic man, Frontier Foundation, a civil rights watchdog group that's calling on law enforcement in San Diego County to stop using facial recognition technology. It's been this wild west of face recognition in San Diego without a lot of oversight, without a lot of quality control, without a lot of questioning. Earlier this year, Governor Gavin Newsom signed off on a new law that starting next year will place a three-year moratorium on all biometric surveillance like facial recognition connected to cameras worn or carried by law enforcement officers. Moss says the time for San Diego to enforce this ban is now. This is a system for police to track where you are, to track who you are, to gather information on you without you necessarily having a way to opt out of it or say no. The county's program has also included some federal agencies like Border Patrol and Immigration and Customs Enforcement. In an age where ICE you know, it's very controversial for police to work with ICE, particularly around data. And, you know, I'm not sure that it's totally above board what they're doing with, with ICE. San Diego County's use of facial recognition technology has exploded in the years since it was first adopted, growing from 3,058 scans in 2013 to collectively more than 25,000 scans last year. I'm very, very skeptical, and I think people should be really alarmed that San Diego has somehow quickly moved to the forefront of surveillance without anybody really paying attention to it. We have policies, and we are trying to protect everybody's civil rights. But law enforcement counters that deployed properly, this high-tech tool helps keep communities safe. We're making sure that the public knows that this is actually an advantage for them.